Thank you, Chris. A life altered and justice not yet served. More than two years ago, a five-year-old was left paralyzed after a drive-by shooting. But whoever pulled the trigger has yet to be arrested. His family tells TV5's Lenita Brooks someone knows who did it. Reading because it has some superhero books, some comic books, and also Sonic, Spider-Man, all kind of superheroes. Seven-year-old Demarius, who is affectionately known as Pete, loves to read. And like many boys his age, he loves superheroes. Yes, please. But as normal of a kid as he is, he has a unique story. With a dream of being a police officer when he grows up, Pete has been a fighter since birth. Born deceased, he had to be flown to Detroit's Children's Hospital, where they saved his life. But his biggest fight would happen five years later. On May 8, 2021, around 4.40 a.m., Pete was hit by gunfire while sleeping, leaving him paralyzed. It's been difficult, but we get through it day by day. We make the best of it. It's, ha it's happened. We can't change it. We do the best we can to take care of him. It happened on the 3000 block of Prospect Street in Flint. As a result of his injuries, Pete now requires around-the-clock care, most of the burden falling on his grandmother's shoulders. Pete has to be capped uh, every four hours, so we normally start about 5 o'clock. He has to have several treatments for his trach, his breathing treatments to assist him in his breathing. So we do that. We start preparing him for school, me getting ready for work. Surveillance cameras captured the suspect's vehicle the night of the shooting. His family, along with Crime Stoppers, is now hoping the community can help fill in the gaps and bring the shooter to justice. I hope that when they close their eyes daily, that they see this little boy's face and to think about what they have did to this little boy's life. I won't say his life is ruined because he's not ruined. He's here with me because I didn't think he would be here. But this is the result of somebody's action, and they need to be held accountable for their actions. For WNEM TV5, I'm Lenita Brooks. Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $1,000 for details that lead to an arrest. If you have any information related to this case, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously at 1 800 422 jail.